My name is Jared, and my fellow teammates are Gen and Su Young, and we will be explaining how to <coughs> convert and transfer information from a database into uh, Microsoft Excel. And we will be using Microsoft Access today. Um, but the process we will show shows how you can do it from multiple different databases. <coughs> uh, this is the final product here. And this happy face is our button. And as you notice, when I click on it once, it shows all of the data from the database that we established the relationship with. So this is the final product, what, we'll be, what we will end with today. And we hope that this application will make your life easier in the future and in your careers as you are asked by your employers to uh, develop uh, reports and databases that uh, you can use this to make your life easier by just using one click. And this long process only requires that you do the manual it manually the, for the first time. And after that, just click and it'll update. So I'll go ahead and close this out. And as you notice here, there you need to open up a new Microsoft Microsoft Excel workbook. So you can go ahead and do that. I've done that previously, but I'll do it just just because. Click on new, blank workbook. And as you see here, um, the first thing that you'll need to do is add in a uh, drop down menu in your ribbon that will allow you to establish the relationship. So you go into file and you need to go down to options. That brings up your Excel options. Uh, click on customize ribbon and here you'll see all of the main tabs that uh, that show up in your ribbon. Go ahead and click on developer and click OK. As you notice here at the top of your ribbon it now shows the developer tab and if you click on that the record macro button here is the button you'll use to establish relationships and when you're finished adding the macro you'll come back here and click end macro which will be shown later in the video. So go ahead and click record macro uh, go ahead and name your macro, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I'll name it one click. And you can put a shortcut key if you prefer, but that's not necessary. So go ahead and click OK. And after that, um, you're ready to go ahead and download the file uh, from and the data from the database. Hi, my name is Su Young Kwon. So to start with this, you need to have the file saved on your document or whatever you want it to be. But we will just save it at the document. So it's a Canvas website and then we're going to save this file right here, demonstration. You click left and then save target as and then there's document right here and then just click save and we'll go to new spreadsheet and then you click on data here and from other sources and then go to the last one from Microsoft query And then there's choose data source and then we'll choose MS access database here and then click OK. Yeah, and then this one shows the document that we saved right here on the database name and then careers and then we will choose demonstration here that I just saved and click on it and OK. And this query, query wizard shows the information we need. So for this, we need the zip customer here. 
So click on it and then click the right arrow here. And then click next. And we won't be using this filter right now. So you just click next. And next. And we're finishing the bringing the table on the Excel spreadsheet. And you can actually choose where you want it to be, where you want it to be. So I will choose A10. So we have some space to put the button and click OK. And there we are. Hi, my name is Gan. And so now, as you see, we have table on the spreadsheet, and these are the information. And now I'm going to show you how we can pull this out with one click. So first, you have to go to developer. And and uh, as you see here, it stopped recording. And uh, so, cause you and cause you not you don't wanna put multiple multiple macros. So then, so now we go to insert shapes, or you can pick whatever you want. Well, let's see. This time we're gonna pick heart. Hmm, that's pretty. Okay. And so we're going to assign this table to this button. So you right click the shape and here it says assign macro. And as we know, this is one click. So we pick this one. So what's going to happen is that every time you click this, it will pull this table. Let me show you. So. We're going to say goodbye to this table for a moment. So it's gone. And when you click it, oh, oops, sorry. It shows up like that. And every time you click this button, when you don't need it, you can hide this table. And when you need it, when you click it, you can see the real time data from the database. And it will save a lot of your time and you don't have to convert every single time you need to pull data but you always um, connect with the database and the excel spreadsheet thanks for watching this video and aloha